Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love Hey guys, it's KK Witchy. Hope y'all are doing good today. Now the reason you're looking at my tarot spread is because I'm wanting to share a couple of different tarot spreads that you guys may have heard of or may not have heard of and I just wanted to share. So yeah, the reason um, I, I will be using the Devnant Moon Tarot as an example. This is actually my second deck, not my first deck. My first deck, my boyfriend's borrowing, which I know it's in good, good, good hands. And I know he'll treat it with respect because he knows I'll get on him if he don't. So when it comes to tarot decks, it's very, very important to make some preparations, I guess, if you call it. Um... Like, I, when it comes to your very, very first tarot deck, like I said, this is not my first deck. This is actually my second deck, my first deck my lover has. <laughs> so, when it comes to tarot decks, there are millions of them to choose from. Um, when you get your deck, the first thing you should do is actually get to know your deck. Um, you can do this either by sleeping with them under your pillow, keeping them with you all times, whether you be at work or school. Keep You can keep them in your car, and you can just kind of shuffle them and play with them and kind of examine the images to also get to know them. You know, kind of touch them every chance you get. So, when it comes to tarot decks, I find it very, very important to also... Please respect these cards and all that you um, may have for them. So it's very, very important to show respect to them because they are a divination tool. And some use them every day. So these are very, very well taken care of. Such as my first deck. Um, anyway, with that being said... Um, where I have small hands, I don't know about you guys, I can just speak for myself. I have very, well I guess not super small hands, but I have medium sized hands. And if you can tell by these cards, there are, they're, they're big. And when it comes to shuffling them, I have a hard time shuffling them how normal people shuffle cards. But I kind of don't shuffle tarot deck cards like I would playing cards. Because I don't want to bend them and I'm very, very picky about making sure that they're not hurt. <laughs> So, I, with that being said, I do not try to shuffle them in a fancy fashion. So, also when you shuffle your deck, no matter how you're shuffling them, um, make sure that you kind of pay attention of what cards fall out. You know, you um, there may be something there that needs to be brought up to your attention, the card that falls out of the deck. So, make sure you pay attention to what cards fall out of the deck. With that being said, I'm going to be moving on to our first tarot spread that we'll be talking about. And this tarot spread would be my self spread. Well, I call it my self spread. And what it is, it's a five card spread. And how you lay them out is you want to shuffle your cards however you decide to shuffle them. And then you want to go... Take your first card, one, two, three, four, five. Now it's five cards laid out and it's just in a straight row. You can also um, change them around if you want to. They don't have to be in a straight row. You can, you know, you can number them backwards if you want to, however you feel. That is right for you. Do it. So number one would be what I already do well with. And what this is, is looking back on what you already do well with. And it kind of reflects yourself, if that makes any sense. So number one is what you already do well with. You know, what is in your life that you find with yourself that you do very very well with yourself with number two which would be this card 
it would be what I need to work on. So this could be, you know, relationship wise, yourself wise. Um, the reason I call it my self spread is because I usually do more well with it when um, I'm doing shadow work. So it would be a really, really good spread to use when you're doing shadow work. So number three, which would be this card extreme extra uh, resources for improving so this would probably be what you really really need to focus and work on the card that you pull for that number four internal <sighs> things that need improving so this would be the card that you need to be improving on something that you already have well with yourself but you need very very you know, you need to work on it a little bit more, which you really, really, really need to focus on. And number five would be the overall advice for your probably shadow work that you're doing. You know, what advice can you bring to the table and incorporate with yourself as well as your, you know, personal life or spiritual life, whatever you have. So this would be my self spread if you guys have any questions please do so again it does not have to be in a straight line you can do them however you feel is necessary um, you can start backwards and you can kind of switch the questions around if you want to so it's really really up to you guys so thanks for watching if you guys have any any or any any pff, I can't talk if you guys have any other questions please let me know and thank you for watching